What's going on YouTube? The Velocity is finally back, and in this video I'm gonna be talking about uh, the fatal flaw, and I realize the thumbnail might have been a little on the clickbait side, but I wanna talk about something that we've observed or slash notified uh, with this aircraft since it is now a pusher plane. Before I get into that though, I kinda of wanna give you a tour of it now that it's back from the factory. Here it is. Um, like I said, the owner finally got the airplane back from the factory. It was formerly maroon. I'll see if I can share uh, a photo of it before. They did a lot of composite repair to it. There was lots of little cracks and whatnot, and they repaired all of that. And then they also, let's see if I can get the door pop open here. That's embarrassing. I'm gonna call that side because I think the side's locked. <laughs> okay. Anyways, they did a lot of composite repair and whatnot to it and he still wants to get the interior done but they redid the panel in this thing and i'll see if i can just beautiful it's it's absolutely stunning so he still he still wants to get the interior um replaced in this and get a little bit of interior work done to it but like i said he's got you know, the panel's redone, the airplane's been repainted, and I, th I think it looks absolutely stunning. This is my step ladder. I never knew my real ladder. I heard he could support a family of four. Uh, but to the point of what is the fatal flaw of the velocity, and it's actually not all it, just the velocity, it's, it's any pusher aircraft as, as we are discovering. Um, he had a, a situation where a screw came out of the cowling, and because the propeller is in the back of the airplane, here's what happened. This screw went in all the way down to the core wood. So what this MT propeller actually is, is a wooden propeller that is wrapped in Kevlar and, and composites, if you will. And the problem with pusher aircraft is I'm not gonna say you can't do soft field landings. I'm not gonna say that, you know, they can't do certain things, but anything that the wheels could kick up, any dirt, any rocks, any debris, is going to get kicked up and go into the propeller. Any screws or any items on the aircraft that come loose in flight are going to go through the propeller. Now, those are not things that should happen. You shouldn't be losing screws in flight. You definitely shouldn't be losing, uh, you know, things like those vortex generators up on the roof, but it does. It's, it's sometimes screws back themselves out for whatever reason, and they go through the propeller, and this is exactly what happens. Now, here's what's really annoying about this. We just had this propeller overhauled maybe 100 hours of flight time ago. Um, we took it off, it was leaking really bad. It had a couple little chips just like that in it. So we took it down to the prop shop. It was there for almost, I think eight weeks, 10 weeks. It had to go, the hub had to go back to Germany um, to get some bearings and stuff replaced in it. And then they brought it back over and, and reassembled it. And obviously it looks, looks stunning when they were done, but it was very expensive. It was like $12,000 to get this thing overhauled. Maybe not that much, but it was a lot of money to get this thing overhauled all for a few hours later, a screw to come loose and go through it and do that. So what is, what is the purpose of me bringing this up? Well, I'm now taking this propeller off. And if I haven't already said this, I do not own this aircraft. Hang on, I'm gonna adjust my biggest fan. Sorry, I'm sure it was distorting the audio. But what is the point of this? And the point is to say that if you have a pusher aircraft, um, you maybe need to check a little heavier on your pre-flights that all of your screws, nuts, hardware, um, accoutrement, that everything is adequately secured in the aircraft and nothing is loose. Because if it is loose and it does shake off, it's going to go right through the propeller and you're gonna be in this exact same situation. Now you might not have a three blade composite MT propeller on your aircraft, but it still might be something you have to do. Now, if you're curious, I did um, remove this cowling and loosen these propeller nuts off camera because I didn't want to do it on camera and show you, you know, myself struggling to break 50 pounds of torque, but that is besides the point. Now I'm going to go ahead and yank this propeller off and take it to the overhaul facility because I don't repair propellers. It's not a liability that I want to get into even with an experimental. 
So I'm gonna take this propeller off and take it over to the overhaul facility. But I wanna say one last thing really quick. If you are doing a, rep a propeller, use new nuts. They are 100% replaceable. Do not reuse them. They have a self-locking feature and I would not wanna put my faith in a set of nuts that's been reused several times. Always, always, always use new propeller nuts. That's not going anywhere. Remember, in order for it to not go anywhere, you do have to flip the straps and say that it's not going anywhere. So that is gonna do it all for this video. If you stuck around to this point, I do really appreciate it. I realize it was probably a short one and I didn't say a whole lot, but I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And as always, go build something and be easy.